My involvement in the project came from uh, Tamara Stewart giving me an email first with this song and it had the demo on there and I listened to the demo and, and really liked the sentiment of the song and, and I thought, well, you know, we have to be involved in projects like this because of the fact that they're important, you know. Being um, born and raised in country Victoria was kind of like my own my home turf so it was very much close to home for me. I mean I don't think there's too many people around Australia who haven't been touched by this tragedy. Just awful. You let your love shine through and the angels fly. The country genre that we, we all are a part of um, really spend a lot of our time in the rural areas and, and I think it's important that we, we play a part in some sort of fundraising and some sort of awareness that this has gone on and um, to pull together like this is always a thrill and to have a good song is even better. The images that I saw, I did a lot of um, research on the web and just watched every news broadcast I could stand. It's just obviously a very emotional time for all of us witnessing it. Just the visions of the horrific, fluorescent, bright, deep orange that was just, just on every screen you looked, it was just this most inc incredible hell on earth, they called it, which is where the first line of the song came, but it was just like nothing I'd ever seen before. And as I say, growing up in country Victoria, we certainly had seen bushfires and, and floods and, and all of that. I just remember sitting in my lounge room and to start with just thinking, here we are, a normal Australian summer, there's, you know, bushfires and hopefully we don't um, lose lose too many homes and, and all of that but then I, when I realised the severity of it it was heartbreaking I just felt like crying I, just, I couldn't believe it and um, you know all these people were just were suffering so much it was just terrible and you know and sometimes we also forget about all the little animals as well that, that lose their lives and um, I'm a massive animal fan anyone who knows me will tell you that you know I'm just obsessed with animals and love them dearly and I, I, that was really heartbreaking for me as well just to know that all that um, wildlife had lost their lives and was suffering as musicians and performers, we, we can't fight fires and we, we can't rebuild homes and, and things like that, but we can sing, you know, and we can play music and write songs, so if that's our way of giving back and, and rebuilding a life that way, lives that way, then, uh, you know, it's, it's a privilege to be a part of it. Side by side. What was just the most beautiful thing in this project was uh, to, to, to let people know of what we were trying to do to raise money for the Red Cross and to ask around and instant people that just instantly said, yes, what do you need? Garth Porter gave us his studio. Ted Howard is just a, an award-winning engineer who has worked tirelessly. Ross Wood, who is just brilliant, and I'm not saying that because you're standing over me with <laughs> a camera in my face. Just the, the just the selflessness that went on behind the scenes was really quite overwhelming. And then layered on top of that, of course, is what everyone else sees, which is the wonderful artists and musicians and everybody that came on board. It's beyond anything that, that we could imagine to be actually happening in very close to my hometown.